What's happening, fam? LL movement still moving. This blog is going to be entitled Racial Honesty. Not equality. Not even, I might throw in gender too. Gender. Um, <clears throat> honesty is the best policy. And sometimes, if I'm honest with you, even if I'm right or wrong, you can be honest with me, even if you're right or wrong. And we could kind of, you know, whatever. So here's the, I'm just going to go in right now. Me as a black person, I think my race has positives and negatives. So I'm going to start with my race and move on to next, 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 next. Try to do this as fast as possible. One thing, I think we're re very resilient. I think we are um, very vast and, and diverse. Um, I think we're very intelligent. But I also think we let the people who shouldn't be in the forefront be in the forefront. And we don't say nothing to them. But we don't clear these motherfuckers, man. Some of these people that feel like they're representing us, we need to clear them because they're not. Um, Business-wise, I think um, we need to start our own business. But on the flip side of that, I think we need to understand business. That's the fact that if you know anything about it, you know you ain't going to be dealing with business, dealing in business with your own at first anyways. So they're going to give you inflated prices because they ain't going to want you to be successful in business. For one, that they wouldn't give their own to other people who are not like you. For two, you're going to raise the rates on your people because of that. And then they're going to not come around because it's cheaper to go somewhere else. And three, we don't support each other business-wise because we just feel we have a business inferiority complex. Like if somebody black doing it, it must not be good. Which, I mean, sometimes people are right, sometimes people are wrong. Um, <clears throat> moving on. White people. Uh, what I see sometimes is white people have a lot of stereotypes about people, no matter what race or whatever, but they don't know anything about anybody. I think white people teach us, people of all other races, about them. That's what we go to school for, to learn about white people. That's what your kids go to school for, to learn about white people. Well, I mean, because it's a uh, white power structure or whatever, they think it's a good thing, but really it's not, because we know everything about you and you ain't going to know nothing about us, because you... We, we, we teach each other about us. That's a good thing for everybody else. So that's why everybody else knows how white people get down. And it's like, ah, whatever. You know, you do what you want. I do what I want. Get out of here. I know you're going to play, you know, do your little thing and side stuff. And somebody's going to have you back. Anyway. Um, Jewish people. Um, I think business-wise, they're juggernauts. Is what it is. Um, they work together as a unit. Good thing. Is what it is. Um, flip side, all money ain't good money. Because sometimes their hands have been in some terrible stuff. Other thing, I mean, I don't understand the, the, the dislike for us as when. You know, people talk about the Holocaust and don't be anti-Semitic and you can't let that go. But then at the same time, y'all black people need to let go of slavery. I mean, it's the same thing with the white power structure. You know, it's the same thing passed down because they both went in business together. But, you know, it's like, okay, you want to live with all the, all the benefits of the fruits of everybody else's labor, but you don't want me to talk about it. But when it's you, you need to have a whole country. That's that's not cool. And on the other thing, it's like... um. Jewish people weren't um, slaves in Egypt. Sorry. They weren't Hebrews in Egypt. Hebrews are black people. Well, that's why Moses and Pharaoh could be brothers because they both look the same. Well, no, ain't no white Pharaohs in Egypt. It, 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 that's just what it is. It's Africa. Let's be real. So that thing is always uh, my, my experiences with Italians. Cool. Cool as hell. Um, rude. Rude. I don't know if that's just a, you know... Uh, Italian and Irish thing, but cool people, but rude people. <laughs> um, but also, I just, but also, you know, I don't, I don't give nobody a pass for like being overly rude. But I give them one with their rude demeanor because I understand. Same thing with with Irish too. Um, 
as a black man, I can understand how people come at you sideways all the time. Because if you look at Italians, a lot of times, people always associate Italians with um, mafia. And they get tired of that shit. Same thing with um, associating um, Irish people with like just brawling drunks all the time. They get tired of that shit. And plus, they, they, I mean, Italians with the Moors and, and the Irish with their black heritage way back. I mean, I get it. Talk about Puerto Ricans. If you don't know this, you can't look at me. If I do my family tree, I'd probably be Creole. Or I am Creole. I ain't got to say probably, but I'm black. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Creole is black, French, Native American. You know what I'm saying? Maybe sometimes Spanish, but it's just black, white, Native American. Let's just put it like that. Uh, so fine. So that's how I look at Puerto Ricans, you know. And I think they're cool people. Like I don't see, I don't think us and Puerto Ricans don't get along. I didn't know we didn't, you know, because most of us they they look like some of my family. My family look like some of their family. So I never looked at it any other way. Um, as far as other uh, the Hispanic culture as a whole, um, it is confusing. To me, um, they have a, ra a color class system because they have a racial class system. Because when I look at Mexicans, I kind of look at them as Native Americans. When I look at, then there's white Latinos, and then there's black Latinos, and then there's Latinos that are just mixed. That's like Creole, like like Puerto Ricans, or other people. Like, you know, the people talk about Brazilians and all that other stuff. But So I don't, I mean, that's kind of, uh, to me, when... When you're dealing with black people who are mixed and say they don't want to be black, you, you got to find who who is comfortable in their skin or whatever skin they chose to be in. And then you say, okay, you're this, you're going to be this, this is who you are. As, as long as you know who you are, I can know how to deal with you kind of thing. Um, as far as a uh, gender thing, I think honestly we need to, it's, it looks like it's attack on men being men. And women being women. And it's all jumbled up right now. And to be perfectly honest, I care and then I don't because I think the men who don't want to be men, you're going to suffer the consequences of it. The women who don't want to be women, you're going to suffer the consequences of it. The, 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 the men and women who want everything, you're going to get everything. You, but nobody gets to play victim and cry foul because you be careful what you wish for. Um... And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I think we just need to be honest about what we really want, racially, gender-wise, equality-wise. Because in, uh, in all honesty, we're not being honest. We're just picking and choosing what's good for us, when it's good for us, how it can profit us, or how we can win in this particular situation. And life is funny like that. Just because you feel like you won a day... I mean, you could win the battle and lose the war, pretty much. So, and you're seeing that all the time now. It used to be where all this, 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 this dishonesty was under a veil because technology didn't let you communicate or see people's situations when they panned out and ended. It used to be you, you get over, you celebrate, you go hush up in your little house or room like, and then life starts kicking your ass, and that, ha, ha. You, you got to keep that in silence, too. Now you're seeing people whine about it. Well, be careful what you wish for. So, I mean, this is my, 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 my honest, racial honesty from my perspective. I don't think I missed it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. take that back. Um, Native Americans. I feel for them. Because it's like they're the most... We, me as a black man, I might be the most hated, but a Native American is like the most overlooked. Like, this is their country, no matter what, don't give a fuck what name you put on it. So, to not see them around and not have any respect for them, it's kind of, that's not cool. Um, to take it another, another step fur, further, um, I would say... Asians, Arabs, Muslims, and all that—I I, I, should have went there too. Okay, um, uh, I didn't deal with too many 
uh, Arabs in my lifetime. So I have nothing to no really no real experiences with them. Um, Muslims, yeah, Muslims. Normally, no, uh, you got Muslims who are very easy to get along with because they're peaceful people, and then you got Muslims who are very militant. You got to figure out who's who, you know. And that ain't just like Nation of Islam. That's just from my experience. Um, Asians. I think Asians, for the most part, just want to be left alone. Because you've noticed that quiet people, they might like you or hate you, but they give you the poker face, so hopefully you'll never know either way. But, I mean, I think they just want to be left alone. Now, when they do good stuff, I, I don't see them like look at me, and when they do bad stuff, I don't see them say, look at me. So, I got to be like, you know, I, I can accept that. But anything I'm missing, anything I said that people don't get, you know, just holler at me. All right. Peace.